We've got issues with um, journalists lying about their age in order to sleep with younger women, specifically those who are, who are in the journalist industry that are still either in school or just graduating from school and fresh in the industry. Some of these journalists are 15, 20 years older than what their, um, their um, alias journalist ID says. People like James O'Keefe from Project Veritas, I'm sure that he has a group of people that go around with him lying and cheating about their age so that they can be with underage women, some of which barely legal and very tasteless and disgusting. This is an issue that law enforcement has with these journalists because they do it all the time. And then they turn around when they're caught and holler, journalist, 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 I'm a journalist. When they're just using their being a journalist as, a, as an excuse to use an alias to deceive people so that they can continue forth with sexual deviance or whatever other fraud or, or crime that they're committing against the people. This was the problem in my case with James O'Keefe when he was arrested in Louisiana. He had so many aliases on him, they said he couldn't figure out who he was. And they know now that he had been lying so much that he still just doesn't know who he is. Because he's been putting up this con for so long so he could try to get out of consequences for actions from things that, from when he was younger. Using an alias is not going to get you out of trouble, James O'Keefe, and it's certainly not going to keep you in, um, from, from being married to me. It doesn't matter what you put on that ID card and how you lie. You're still married to me. And I, for the reasons that I'm going over now, I specifically refuse to give a divorce because this is somebody who needs help. He doesn't need his friends to help hide him and to help him hurt me and my daughter. What he needs is for these people to come forward and tell the truth so he can get help. When you refuse to do that, you become part of the problem, which is one of the reasons I was so mad at these people, these church people who are working in the prosecutor's office, because they know me better than that. And for them to take this man's side like they have, it was disgusting, including knowing how they grew up with my Aunt Linda, who's a murder victim, along with my mother and my Uncle David. These guys should have known better, and I'm going to tell them something else. They should have listened to the documentation, because everything in those reports about me, as far as being a victim, is true. And so when you sit up here and you look at these guys, and it's not just the universities helping or the journalists. We've got prosecutors who are helping these guys hide. And it's really disturbing to look at the whole picture when you stand back and think about it. I'm going, oh my goodness, I've worked with some of these people. I have worked with some of these people. And for them to stand here and help this man lie, why would they do that? It doesn't make any sense. Especially when the only people who don't believe that there was a marriage is the Cass County Prosecutor's Office. Now, how does that happen? But everybody else agrees with me. That's a problem for the prosecutor's office. Where I have a bigger problem is how much did the school know about James sleeping with students? Because it's everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. But nobody's helping to get this situation fixed. Meanwhile, me and my daughter are sitting here hurting because we don't have each other. Why? Because James lied. Not Tina. James. So rather than consequence James and arrest him, they're keeping me from my daughter. That's not justice. That's discrimination. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the badge.